All right, boys, so day one of the beta of Madden 24, just want to do a quick video here, just talking about, I'm um, not going to give my thoughts on the beta. Obviously, we've been uh, forbidden to do that. I do think that's one of the most ridiculous things uh, that EA Sports could have done, uh, but it is what it is. I just wanted to kind of talk about just overall, like the beta, what we've kind of heard publicly, and just kind of update you guys on kind of where the community is at with Madden 24, and also kind of touching on some of the, the promises or the gameplay updates that EA has already provided publicly, as well as some tips for you to be able to utilize to maximize your uh, Madden 24 beta experience if you have a code. If you guys don't have a code, um, a lot of content creators are giving them out on Twitter. So I would encourage you to just go uh, and, and, and basically just ask for the beta codes from them or, or enter the giveaways or whatever you need to do uh, just to give yourself a shot to get the code. So overall impressions from the beta, Eric Wayrather said this in an interview or kind of a conversation he did with Sybil, and I just wanted to kind of echo one of the things that he said in that. He said, overall, the game is much smoother. Um, there's smoother animations, interceptions, catching animations, both of those things are significantly smoother. I would have to agree with that. I do think the game is all in all uh, significantly smoother uh, than it was previously. Um, a couple of things in terms of like pass blocking, run blocking. Run blocking significantly improved from last year. Um, I, I would say that, Eric said that, um, I, kind of the general consensus of the community has been that the run game is better than it was last year. It's not as good as it was in Man 20, I'm sure, uh, at least from what I've heard from everybody else in the community, um, but it is it is improved. So um, just something to keep in mind that the, the run game is better, um, and so that's going to mean that your defense is going to definitely need to be equipped both to stop the pass, but also need to be equipped to stop uh, the run game. Another thing that was uh, listed in the updates from EA that they shared with us in the gridiron notes um, was that the zone or cornerback uh, awareness and zone coverage. Uh, may, they, I don't think they actually said zone coverage specifically, but this was also brought up uh, with Eric Rayweather just concerning the cloud flat problem that Madden 23 had, where if you basically press any cloud flat, if you pressed the cloud flat, the cloud flat would not get enough depth and it would make it one of the most pointless zones that you could possibly have on your field. That seems to be improved uh, according to the general consensus that the community has offered. Again, EA has kind of said that, Ray Weather said that, that it seems like they've fixed that. I think that was one of the biggest issues um, with Madden 23 zone coverage. Had that not been as big of an issue as it was, I think zone would have been a little bit better. Uh, but in general, the cornerback awareness uh, from what EA has said is is a little bit improved from, from last year. Now, obviously it is a beta, and so uh, I did want to talk a little bit more about bigger picture in terms of what can you expect to change in Madden 24 uh, launch uh, as, as a compared to what we're playing currently in the beta. Chances are that if you're playing the beta right now, they're probably going to update it, continue to update the, the beta uh, with different changes, um, especially as we provide feedback on their forums. One of the big tips I would provide uh, for you guys is that content creators at large aren't really allowed to talk about their general, like they can't really give their thoughts or opinions um, on the game. But what we can do is we can provide feedback in the public forums that EA has get provided us uh, on the Gridiron Notes page during in the beta uh, post. I'll try to provide a link to that in the description. So there's no stopping you from going to those forums and trying to, um, you know, just kind of understand some of the known issues in the game. So the game is going to continue to get updated. But one of the things that I did want to touch on is the wholesale changes are not going to be a reality. So let me just give one big, big picture change. A lot of the uh, best players in the world uh, would say that one of the biggest uh, challenges to next gen has been the locomotion or the player movement in general. The way players move, specifically on the defensive side, honestly, I think for the most part, offensively, is offense has been fine just in terms of the movement. There's been some slight things. The biggest thing has just been movement on defense is, is really hard. Um, the, the zone defenders don't move uh, as quickly as the routes run. Um, that's a problem. You know, the, just in general, like the movement has caused – the next gen movement has caused a lot of challenges. One of the things that it's caused, one of the challenges that it caused last year um, and the previous year is how the, the offensive line logic reacts to uh, pass blocking, specifically from slot corner blitzes. 
we're playing Mad 24 current, um, on the same like core engine that we played Madden 23 on. So the movement is gonna be similar. And so the pros and cons of the movement patterns are going to be similar as well. It doesn't mean it's the same game. It's not the same game. I think every content creator would tell you Madden 24 is not the same game as Madden 23. That's a general consensus community feedback. There's definitely been some really, really positive changes um, according to everything that EA has said and some of the content creators that have actually played the game even you know even more than I, or before I have. So you know, generally speaking, it's better but it's still the same core engine. So they're not gonna be able to change the engine. What they're gonna be able to do from beta to actual launch game is they're gonna be able to patch like glitches and exploits. So last year, one of the things that they patched, um, I, I don't think it was a day one, I can't remember if it was a day one patch or a week one patch or when it was really patched, but there was, for it seemed like the first at least month and a half to two months of the game, there was a blitz out of nickel 3-3 that was really good. Now that blitz stayed really good in a different in a different form, if you will, um, for like six months of the game. But there was really two different, two to three different setups of the 3-3 loop defense in Madden 23. And they patched that over and over and over again throughout the course of the game. But it remained a predominant meta as well throughout the course of the game, even though there were attempts at patching this uh, defense. That's kind of what I'm getting at is th that shows that the defense itself actually was exploiting more of the core engine and the movement as opposed to it just being, you know, like a bug in the game. OK, so with that in mind, that means the concept of loop blitzing is something that's transferable from Madden 23 to Madden 24 because the game is played on the same engine. So I asked Civil today and Twitter, you guys can go see the post. Um, but I said, you know, what's your thoughts on blitzing in, in the beta? And one of the he said one word looping. Uh, and so, you know, that's just something uh, that I would say to you guys is that's a general principle that's been proven over the last two and a half, uh, two and a half years, uh, two and a half to three years of Madden next gen is the loop blitzing is really, really, really effective. So as you're playing the beta, what I would try to encourage you is to find those transferable concepts like, okay, the loop blitzing concept is meta. Now I can cross apply that or I can apply that into the dollar, the 146, the 236, the 33 normal, the 335 odd, the 3245 odd, right? I can cross apply the loop blitzing concept to all kinds of different formations. So that's what you want to do in the beta is you want to try to figure out, okay, what are the core uh, concepts that are effective on the game at the core engine? And then you want to try to figure out how you can cross apply those into whatever the formation is that you're wanting to run on the offensive or the defensive side of the ball. All the while, I think, you know, obviously just testing different things, um, messing around in practice mode, I'd spend, I would recommend spending 80% of your time in practice mode and 20% of your time in mini games or CFM or any of that stuff. But anyways, those are some general um, that kind of like uh, stuff about the beta. I don't want to call them thoughts because uh, I don't want to get banned. They're not really thoughts about the actual gameplay of the beta. They're kind of just more in general um, advice for how you can make the most out of your beta experience and what we've learned community-wide um, here on June 9th, 2023. So thanks for watching the video. And if you guys are serious about Madden, you want to make yourself a much better player, join our Patreon. It's only $10. That's where you'll get access to all of my Madden 20, uh, 24 offensive and defensive eBooks that we're gonna be coming out with in August, as well as all of the content that we've released for the Madden 23 season that you can start working on now a lot of which is going to probably cross apply into Madden 24 because I try to teach a little bit more big picture, a little bit more conceptual, and a little bit more transferable to make you a well, more well-rounded uh, player. So if you want to become a member, the link's in the description. Thanks for watching the video and uh, get in the lab and get after it, get to work, and uh, we'll see you on the sticks.